where you go. Slave masters were sometimes known to chop off uppity niggas' Johnsons, dry them, and place them on their mantelpiece. Black piece above the fireplace, like some shriveled in you. Atrophy trophy, circumcision gone overboard, ship with its bottle crack, set sail no more. In 11th grade, Monica Daniels looked me full in the face, smiling over her free lunch plate, and asked me, like the sweetest joke, Jalal, I bet you got a pink dick, don't you? <laughs> her and Cindy Jones called me Pinky for the rest of the year. I would smile, tell him it was only the tip. <laughs> they never witnessed my tears of shame dropping like any hope I had a hair nap year. Mask myself happy every time Corey Stewart called me light bright, wonder bread, oops, upside down, Oreo, wishing my roots could twist out the dread. I felt every time I stepped into the presence of my half brothers and sisters, I wanted to push my blood memory, clench knuckle cracking through every crack of John. Master Tom look alike. My father reminded me of this irony every time we shared space. When I first read Root, I wanted to push my fist through every pale face I met, including the one in the mirror, while I mint 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 crested away the direction I felt coming like waves to the face of the lucky ones during middle passage. My white father's side of the family is from North Carolina. My black mother's side of the family is from North Carolina. Ain't enough distance between places of origin for me to be able to not wonder whether half of me ever owned half of me. But my great 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 grandfather ever kept my great 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 grandfather's manhood like a reminder of his manlessness on the mantelpiece. Black peace on the mantelpiece. And the people all drifting don't you don't can't find no heaven don't care where we go. Wow.